today I will show you how to colorize your black and white images. So, let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun episode. Today I will show you a few different techniques how you can colorize your black and white photos. So without further ado, let's the fun begin. Today we will use black and white photo of this cute boy and we will add the colors of the top of it to make this photo even more interesting. So how to do that? Well basically there are a few different ways how I like to do it and I will show you all of them and you can then choose one or maybe combination of two, three of them to make your masterpiece. So basically it's easy like this. You need a new layer, you need a brush and you need a color, any color from a color palette that you want. I will choose a bluish color to colorize, let me see, to colorize this shirt. And if I just use a brush and paint over the top of this shirt, I will not get anything. I will just get color over the top of that. I will lose all the details down below because my layer it's in a normal blending mode. We need to change the blending mode for this. If you're not familiar with blending modes, you can watch my tutorial about all Photoshop's blending modes right here. Okay, for this blending modes that works the best are color, obviously, and overlay and soft light. If you put it in a color blending mode, you will see that shirt will become bluish and we will have all details down below. If we put to overlay, overlay will add a little bit more contrast to it, you can see. And soft light, it's softer version of overlay blending mode, as you can see here. So I like to put it in a color blending mode and paint over the top of this shirt and get this shirt colorized. All right, this is one method just to use empty layer on a color blending mode and brush and colorize it. Second method, I will delete this. Second method is to go and choose solid color adjustment layer. Choose any color, we'll use the same color. Choose any color you want. Put this into a color blending mode or overlay and soft light. And now go here, invert the mask, control command I and do the same. Just paint over the top of this shirt. Okay. And you will have this shirt colorized. Of course, uh, I'm doing this really fast now just because uh, to save some time for this tutorial. But when you're doing this for yourself or if I would do this for a client, I will spend a lot more time tweaking uh, this, making better selection of the shirt and, and adding that color. But this is just for example here and it's pretty much, pretty much okay. Let's colorize this white too. Why not? Right, uh, let's, I think this is the skin here, the part of the arm. And let's colorize this, okay. Like so, and we are basically, basically done here with the shirt. And why I like this way better, why I like prefer this method better than just using a layer and color over the top of that, because now it's much easier for me to change the color if I'm not satisfied with this color. How to do that? Well, it's really easy. Just double click on this solid color adjustment layer and you can change this into any color you want. So I will go with the blue, maybe something like, like this, it's okay. And that's it. I can always go back and change it. Second method, or if you count from beginning, third method, it's to go and use another adjustment layer. And this time we will use color balance, all right? Color balance is really nice because we can again change the color. And with the color balance, we can put the color balance into uh, some blending mode, for example, color, right? and change that or we can just leave it in a normal and check this preserve luminosity or uncheck depends on the result you want to, to achieve and you don't need to put this into any uh, uh, blending mode of those three that I mentioned right I will just find some skin tone maybe add some yellowish and reddish tint to to the shadows midtones and highlights right something like so if you're not satisfied with the final result i can always go back and tweak those sliders to get a perfect version of the color that i want i will invert the mask with uh, control or command i and again i just need to paint over the skin here so i will fast forward this and i will come back in a few seconds
Alright guys, that's it. And if you can see here, I painted across the hair here, eyebrows and part of the hair here and so on and so on. And now if you want to uh, tweak this really nice and fast, I will show you another great trick how to do it. Just double click on the layer here and I will use the Blend If tool. If you're not familiar about the Blend If tool, it's a really powerful tool in Photoshop. Please watch my tutorial about that right here. Okay, I will not cover the Blend If here in this tutorial. I will just go fast and uh, do the thing. I will go to underlying layer and I will protect the shadows from the underlying layer. So that means that I will protect the shadows from this background layer down below. Okay, I will go and move this and press and hold Alt or Option key and just separate this to have this nice uh, gra gradual transition, right? Like so. And this is before and after. As you can see, the shadows are now protect it wet and I really like that. What I don't like here is the color of the skin. So I can always go here, double click and change, change some settings, tweak this. If I don't like it, let's go to highlights, maybe add a little bit more reddish, go to shadows, maybe reduce things like so. Of course, you can tweak this as much as you want. And sometimes this will work uh, better. Let's preserve the luminosity. Sometimes this method will work better. Sometimes uh, this uh, solid color layer will work better and so on. Of course, you can combine, you can add to this, maybe curse adjustment layer and clip it to affect only this layer and then change the tone, maybe make the skin a little bit darker and so on and so on. For now, let's leave it like so. We can always tweak it later and let's go to the lips. So the fourth method, uh, how to colorize an image is just to use the curves or level adjustment layer. Uh, actually, I, I prefer curves uh, uh, much, much better because I have more options with the curves. So I will use curves adjustment layer and I will go to the channel. So I will go to red. I will add the red to colorize the lips, all right? Some redness. And I will reduce the blue to add some yellow tint to it. Of course, the curves blending mode, you don't need to put in any uh, of the blending modes because the curves blending mode will just change the color and of course the lightness and it will preserve all the details from the image. So you, do you don't need to put it in a color blending mode, for example. But if you put it in a color blending mode, you will preserve the lightness from original background, original image down below, but you will just change the color. Let me show you that. Now, as you can see, I make the blue uh, darker or actually I added some yellow and here I made the red brighter or added some yellow to the photo. So if I go from normal to color, you will have, uh, you, you can see the difference because here I changed the luminosity of the image, but here in a color blending mode, I didn't mess with the luminosity at all. I just changed the color of it. So I will go invert this mask with control command I and just go to the lips and colorize this. As you can see, I like these lips to be a little bit more reddish, so I will do that in a second, just to add a color here. And again, we can go to curves and change, change this color, maybe a little bit more here and here. Of course, we need to spend a little bit more time, but for this tutorial, let's go to the green and reduce green to add more magenta to it. Maybe something like like so, let me see. And I don't want so much yellow to the lips, maybe like so. Let me see. This is really, really nice, All right? Really nice combination of colors. We can go here maybe and tweak, tweak to add a little bit more. Let me see, just a touch. And now what I like to do, mm, I'm not satisfied with the skin tone too much, but maybe like this is okay. Now what we need to do is to add some imperfection in a skin color because skin, it's not uh, one color. It's a combination of few colors. Some areas has more uh, magenta tint, more yellowish, yellowish tint and so on and so on. What I will do here, if I'm doing this for a client, I will use some photo as a reference for a skin color and I will try to play with that. But here I will go with a solid color adjustment layer, use a reddish or maybe pinkish tint like so, put it in a color blending mode and invert the mask, okay? And now I will use a brush 
really soft, maybe 10% opacity or so. And I will add some color imperfections here, maybe even 5% opacity and add some redness here to the nose, maybe here, around the lips here, then redness a little bit here and there. Okay. Let me see maybe a little bit of the redness right here on the ears. Make this a little bit more. And of course, this is really quick and sloppy job, but it will do a trick here. Of course, that I will spend a lot more time tweaking this if this is a project for a client or so. And this is look, this is really nice. It's looking much better than before. This is before and after, before and after. Let me show before and after. I like how this reddish tint, maybe in the cheeks here, like so. And this is too much, maybe here. Just to add some imperfections. Of course, you can add a little bit more of a yellowish tint or even greenish tint and so on. And the shadows here, as you can see, we can desaturate. Maybe we can use hue and saturation adjustment layer, desaturate a little bit, invert it, and just, just paint with white, maybe 10% opacity, just to desaturate the shadows a little bit more. Of course, then we can colorize the eyes, use any of those techniques that I show you. I will use solid color layer. I like eyes to be maybe some brownish tint, like so. Put it in a color blending mode, invert it, and just paint here with a brown color, just this part. I will not paint the highlights. I will leave the highlights white, or even I will paint the highlights maybe to blue because I think it's the sky in the reflection, but for now let's leave it like so. And I can use the same brown color with maybe just 10% opacity to colorize the hair, just to add a little bit of the color here. And maybe the eyebrows. This is just really quickly. Of course, the hair, uh, it's not so good. Well, let's, let's delete the hair, okay? And I will use new layer, solid color, I will use really dark, maybe like so, and then I will colorize, put this into color blending mode and colorize the hair with this, okay? Like so, why not? And of course, we need to tweak this inside part of the skin a little bit more, but for this tutorial, I will not do that. Let me see. This is really nice. Of course, we can colorize the background. Let me just show you really quickly. I will put new uh, adjustment layer down below, just above the background. It will be solid color. And I will use some bluish, really light bluish, like so, almost gray. Invert it, put it in a color blending mode. And with 100% opacity, I will just paint here. And this is still too saturated for my taste. I will change it. And this is really nice, as you can see, really nice and easy. Of course, we can put this into overlay blending mode. Why not? It will have a different result better for my taste. Yes, I like it very much. Let's unzoom it. So this is really great. Let's group all those uh, color layers into one group. Control Command G is the shortcut. And let's rename this color like so. And as you can see, guys, this is before. And this is after, before and after. Really nice result. And it's not perfect because this is really fast and sloppy job. But for this tutorial and uh, for your understanding how to do it, this is really, really nice result. Of course, uh, you don't uh, need to use uh, this only on humans. You can colorize anything in Photoshop. For example, you can colorize a dog or a car or anything that you want. I will show you how I did that on a dog. Here, as you can see, I have black and white photo of this uh, really nice dog. And those are my layers. Here I used only the technique with the solid color adjustment layer. And this is before, this is after. We really impact this image by adding color to it. This is before, this is after. I really like the result here. All right, guys, that's it for today. I really hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new from today's episode. Of course, you can use this technique not just to colorize your black and white photos, but to add some color imperfections or change some colors on your color images. Just practice, experiment and have fun mastering this technique.
If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. If you want to support me on this channel to make it even bigger and better, you can do it by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. All right, guys, subscribe if you're not already. Ring that bell to get notified about the future episodes. And see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.